Hi, Pastor Steve here. I want to thank you for listening today, and I want to encourage you because I know that God will truly bless you as you study His Word. So hey, let's get started. Hey, church family, thanks for tuning in to this midweek devotion. Today, we are going to continue on in our series of men and women in the Old Testament. And today, we're going to be looking at a man that is found in the Old Testament. Now, God is always searching for men and women who will be men and women for him. The Bible confirms this truth in several passages of Scripture. I mean, Samuel said to Saul, The Lord has sought out for himself a man after his own heart. Jeremiah chapter 5 speaks of finding a man who does justice and who seeks truth. God is searching for men and women who will go all in for him. And when God finds such a person, he will use him to his limit. Despite his or her shortcomings, despite their past failures, God is looking for men and women who will be sold out to follow him wherever he will lead them. Today, we are going to take a moment to look at the man of God named Job. In the book of Job, we find an example of a godly man who was sold out for God. He was a man, yes, I mean, that is, he dealt with passions, and he had the same limitations that we do, but he loved and feared God above all else. And that's the kind of man or woman we should want to be. We need to be men and women in whom the grace and truth of Christ dwells richly. Job was a man of notable position. He had wealth, land, servants, a large family. The first chapter of the book of Job says that this is a man who is after God's own heart and a man of great principle. Find some time today to read through the first chapter of the book of Job. Really, it's just the first 22 verses of this book. Find out more about who Job is for yourself. The first verse alone reveals Job to be a man of character. He was blameless, upright, fearing God, and turned away from evil. Now, these four qualities alone make Job a man worth looking to as an example. Now, don't take my word for it, though. Look at Ezekiel's word. In Ezekiel chapter 14, verse 14, the Lord lifts up Job to the standard of Noah, and Daniel with regard to righteousness. All of these attributes are great, and we haven't even discussed how Job dealt with the trials that he was put through. In the story of Job, God allows Satan to put Job through a period of testing, through a series of catastrophes. Job, he loses his children, he loses his servants, his wealth. However, Job's faith withstands all of these trials. He refuses to blame God and to fall to sin. The more we look into the story of Job, the more ways we can learn to live a life that is sold out for God. Now, here's another example. In Job chapter 31, we read Job saying, I have made a covenant with my eyes to not look with lust at a young woman. And then just a few verses later in verse 11 of the same chapter, Job says, For lust is a shameful sin a crime that should be punished. If you play with fire, you're going to get burned. This old expression isn't a warning about fire, but a caution against putting yourself in a position where you could endanger your own health or even your life. People who are badly injured or who get caught up in addictions, they don't plan to get hurt. They don't plan to become addicted. Generally, addictions, they sneak in and accidents are just that, they're accidents. However, sometimes these dangers can be avoided with a little preparation. Sexual temptation has, has been and will always be an issue for men and women. That temptation, it sneaks in and it burns because we don't prepare ourselves to deal with it. Even thousands of years ago, Job knew how this worked. Job takes some time of self-examination in chapter 31. He knew that he hadn't engaged in the sins of lust, of lying, or of adultery, but Job knew that God looks far deeper than the surface. Job knows that God sees the thoughts that men and women allow their minds to entertain. 
Job knew the importance of keeping his body away from sexual sin, but he also knew the importance of keeping his mind away from sexual sin and away from lust. Men and women today have, ha have even more reason to keep a tight guard on what their eyes see. The world today says there's no harm in just looking, but the man or woman who is sold out to following God, they know better. Jesus says that you have committed adultery in your heart if you look lustfully at a woman. Sexual sin, it begins with just a look. Job made the commitment to not look lustfully at a woman. If we are going to follow the example of this blameless, upright, God-fearing, evil-shunning man, then we need to be careful with what we view. Or as the old children's song says, Oh, be careful, little eyes, what you see. We live in an image-driven, social media-driven world. It's nearly impossible to go a full day without glimpsing a picture or a scene of a show that can stir that mind into a lustful thought. That is why it is so important that you take what precautions you can. Be prepared to deal with this idea of lust. It's quite simple, really. God wants to bless us, and the devil wants to tempt you and to steal what you have. God is looking for men and women who are sold out to following him. And when he finds them, he will use them. Happy studying, friends, and I hope to see you Sunday. Thanks again for listening today. We'd love to hear from you. If you'd like more information about our church or you just want to share what God's been doing in your life, drop us a line. Give us a call. Again, may God bless you.